Welcome to the best hotel in Addis Ababa. The Sheraton, part of the luxury collection here in Ethiopia. So here in Ethiopia, they don't like big cameras, so it makes uh, filming these vlogs a little bit challenging. As soon as we arrive at the hotel, we notice signs everywhere saying yeah. no filming. So I did ask, they were like, no professional camera. So there's gonna be a few clips from the iPhone, but I have a very good iPhone, so it should be fine. <laughs> when we're in the room, we'll try and we'll try and keep the good quality one. <laughs> yeah, anyway, so sorry for that. Uh, and now Tracy, room tour. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Now let me show you around. Bathroom in here. I mean, it's a bathroom. <laughs> And then you have closet space here, your coffee tea station. I did find it a little bit weird. There's tea here, but they're saying if you want coffee that you have to request it. I've never seen that. Then you bar that's stocked there. Even have wine glass stuff, which is nice. Keep coming. The bed, sorry for the wrinkle. I already laid on it and it is extremely comfortable. And then we have a desk here. Also, a little bit different. They actually have like a drawer with office supply stuff. So like stapler, scissors, Paper clips, eraser, sure, that's fine. Um, there's like a little mini seating area here, and then we even have a balcony. Out on our balcony, we had the option of between pool view or garden view. We took the pool view, and we're very happy that we did because there is a decent view of Addis right here. I couldn't figure out where the AC like control was. This is an interesting setup. I've never seen this before. So instead of it being like plugged into the wall or whatever that you think would be wires in behind, it's just plugged in like a normal like battery thing. You have your clock, you have all of your light controls and your AC control in here too. Interesting. So apart from the buffet, they have two restaurants, one Italian, one Indian, and according to TripAdvisor, the Indian one is much better. So we're gonna call downstairs and try to get a reservation for tonight. Hi, can I get a reservation for tonight at 7 for two people? Thank you so much. That was easy. So hotels here in Addis are very expensive and this hotel costed exactly... Well, first let me thank today's sponsor, The Ridge, who truly helped making this video happen. So before I show you the brand new set that they just sent me, let me tell you that I always have my Ridge wallet in my back pocket because for me, it's the size. What do you actually need in your wallet? A little bit of cash, a driver's license, your credit card, and that's it. No need for bulky wallets. So this here is the Forge Pacific, which is part of the 30 plus different color and design offered by The Ridge. And even though I don't like to put a lot of cards in my Ridge wallet, it can actually hold up to 12 different cards on top of protecting them with the RFID blocking technology. But it's not all because they also sent me the matching key case and these little things are amazing because instead of having a bunch of keys dangling in your pocket, well, you can have them nice and secure in this little device. You know what like these items from The Ridge? You're that. And thankfully, Father's Day is just around the corner, so make sure to visit ridge.com slash davemanny and get up to 40% off on your purchase until June 15. Once again, ridge.com slash davemanny. Big thank you to The Ridge for sponsoring this video and making my life easier with these small wallets. So are you ready for the price? This hotel, which is the cheapest one that they have, with breakfast tomorrow morning, 441 Canadian dollars. That's insane. Now that we've showed you the room and the view and everything around here, well, let's go see the rest of the hotel. I heard that they have a very nice cocktail lounge mm -hmm. and I like cocktails. So, so let's check it out. iPhone vlog. So basically we just found the garden area. 
um, like we said earlier, between the garden and the pool, and there's some fountains out here. It's actually really beautiful. So now let's start with a quick tour. As you walk into the main entrance, you're greeted with your reception, and you have actually a lounge there too. And then you come over to the side, and we have all the restaurants. So we have two of them and a bar as well. You even have some shopping area, which I did not expect to see, which beautiful flowers, and, and there is a pastry shop, which hopefully tomorrow we'll grab some. And from what we can see here, they won a lot of awards. Okay, so it's our first time trying Ethiopian wine. I have a white Sauvignon. No, you have a Chardonnay. Yes, Sorry, like you have the Chardonnay. <laughs> and I have a Cabernet Sauvignon because I feel like you can't go wrong with that kind of red. A little fruity, but that's very good. Yeah, it's not bad to be honest. It's just like a very easy to drink wine. Does that make sense? They do have a medium wow. sweet and potentially a sweet, but as you know, we're not sweet wine Yeah, lovers. we hate sweet wine, but no, actually, this, like, this is good. dry red, dry white. Not bad. I'm a fan of Ethiopian wines. Mm -hmm. I have to say, I'm a big fan of this place. It's like a, an old style gentleman's bar. Like, it looks very nice. Also, currently, Tracy and I are eating way too many peanuts. They're really good. They're delicious. So this is supposed to be a chicken skewer with a peanut sauce. It's really good, but it's not peanut sauce. Now that we've had some nice Ethiopian wine, it's time to go for supper at Shaheen. We're gonna have to try this again. Apparently, uh, shorts not allowed. I hope I'm okay. I ripped jeans on, they didn't say anything. Maybe you should change too I, so we don't have to. I'm like, I have a top. He didn't say anything. I'm not sure if it's a nice, nice restaurant or. Let's just change anyway. We're gonna change. Yeah. I've got pants. Tracy has a dress. This just in case, because I really don't know. Welcome to the Sheraton's best restaurant. According to TripAdvisor, it's an Indian restaurant. So far, so good. The menu looks fantastic. The smells are fantastic. I love that there's an open kitchen. That's one of my favorite thing in a restaurant. And Tracy, how's the uh, the bread so far? Good, but very spicy with the chutneys. I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember the name of our appetizer, but we are up to a good start because the food is delicious, especially these crispy fried paneer pieces. This is so good. So that paneer, the other one was really good too, but that paneer was some of the best paneer I've had in a really long time. Um, before coming to Ethiopia, we actually had talked to people who had been here and they were like, you know what, the food is not the best. Basically, we didn't come with high expectation and they're like between grocery stores, hotels, restaurants, they just wasn't their favorite. We have been to Ford restaurants so far and I'm not going to lie, I'm loving the food. I think a part of that comes down to you have to really do your research and kind of dig a little deeper to find good places. But that being said, we haven't been to a bad one yet, so fingers crossed. Hopefully we'll be able to give you recommendations at the end of the trip. So even when we were in India, our favorites were the paneer tikka masala and chicken tikka masala. And for me, garlic naan, for him, just butter naan. So this is what we had to get here, tried and true. Let's see how good it is. Mmm, that's good. So I think we both agreed that that was a fantastic dinner. That was really good. I'm For India food in Ethiopia, like, by really... An, by an Ethiopian chef, we met the guy. Yeah, really, really good. Props really to good. him, because that was delicious Indian food, not in India. Yeah. Now, we're gonna try to go to bed, but I have to say, the music is a little loud, but for their defense, they did warn us that if we wanted a uh, room, city, slash poolside, they would probably have some music until midnight, so I accept the blame. It's not that, that, that. See you in the morning.
Good morning. Would you say eight out of ten sleep because it got a little hot at some point? Yeah, the AC doesn't work that well. The AC is useless. It's so comfy. That's a ten out of ten. Yeah. Now we're gonna go for breakfast. We still have. 38 minutes to go for breakfast. It actually goes up to 10, which I really appreciate. Yeah. Slept in a little bit this morning and it was glorious. So we're gonna start with some coffee. Of course, the essential. They even have a mini croissant oven. Okay guys, in terms of like breakfast buffet, I don't think you can find any other hotel that's as complete as this one. They have like a waffle bar, an egg station. They make their own croissant with that like mini oven thing. I mean, it's pretty good. They even have a juice bar. I got this one because like, well, it's very red. I think it's just beetroot. That's straight beetroot juice. Blech. And for breakfast dessert, a little bit of Ethiopian food because, well, we're in Ethiopia. Mm. That's pretty good. I'm really still amazed by the view. But now, we just changed because we're going to the gym because we ate too much for breakfast and that's the right thing to do. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. You don't look like it. That's okay. <laughs> I told you that the energy was luminous From the sands of Virginia Beach out to Jupiter I know I got my doulas going stupider Who in their right mind really want to group with us? Luminous Luminous So welcome to the gym What I really like, it's like, it's pretty much outside like there's no wall on this side so that's pretty cool otherwise there's a little bit of dumbbells two benches things to do like some sort of like cardio thing and then on this side we're having the bikes facing the outside which is very nice two treadmills very good brand and I mean a push-pull workout right there which is pretty good the only thing that it's really missing is a squat rack which would have been very good Something I don't think I've ever seen in any hotel around the world. They have like a jogging track. But like not just like a circle track, like it's actually really nice. Goes in around the hotel, yeah. greenery, got some hills in there which is good. And I looked at it, it's about 500 meters. That's pretty good, I like it. Oh you wanna try me, why me? They can't decide if they hate me or like me. I got the luminous light and it's blinding. No well, this is for sure the weirdest thing I've seen today. <laughs> No better way to end a workout than a dip in the pool. So the pool here is massive and it's heated, but it has to be heated like good, good guys. Because this morning at like 8 a.m. it was about 14 degrees Celsius and a bunch of people were already swimming. Right now I would say it's like 21 maybe, something yeah. like that. It's yeah. not like swimming temperature, but there's 10 times more people in the pool, so it has to be good. So beside me is actually the women's spa. It's actually under renovation right now, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be fabulous once it's done. And then to my side is called Breezes, and it seems to be like the pool bar, pool lunch area. Now let's go test the temperature of this water. Oh no, it, uh, uh, it's not that hot. Like I don't understand how people would do this at like 14 degrees. Try it out, Trace. Yeah. It's doable, but like, it's not at all 14 degrees, what I would consider a heat pool for 14 degrees. Maybe they just have thick skin. <laughs> The morning swimmers are truly great people. I think we both agree that the pool is amazing. The pool is fantastic. You can actually come here without being a guest of the hotel, pay 14 bucks and have access to the pool yeah. all day, which is very nice. It is very nice. Something I would do if I was here. I feel like I'm doing an interview. I see that. Bye. <laughs> Let's be honest, $441, a little bit too expensive uh, for the room that you get, mm -hmm. but... It's pretty big though. But the hotel is very nice, the pool yeah. is fantastic, the food, food is delicious. Yeah, Jim could use a little bit more equipment. That'd be nice. For like the price and reputation of a Sheraton. Yeah. Um, but other than that, it definitely, it does live up to its reputation, yeah, I would say. Fair enough. Yeah, really good Indian food last night. Just yeah, had to put yeah. that in there. Yeah. So time for us to leave and go on our next adventure. And until then, see you guys in the next one.